Today we do a full review and unboxing from Forest Floor Decor. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So you're probably wondering where I am right now. Why am I not in the realm? What mysteries am I hiding? Well, nothing. Truth be told, this awesome box arrived just before I went to work. I've come home and it's about 1am in the morning and everyone else is asleep. Now where the realm is situated is actually just across the hall from someone else's bedroom. And let's be honest guys, the last thing you want to do when you're tucked up in bed is wake up to me saying all things creepy crawly. Bit of a thing of nightmares, right? <laughs> anyway, there's actually quite a lot I want to talk about in this video, but I don't want to bore you to death. I want to get into the unboxing. But before we open this box, I do have to start the review on customer service. The first thing I like to review with companies. So I actually stumbled across Forest Floor Decor. I'll tell you what, I'll start opening it as I tell the story. I stumbled across this small business, Forest Floor Decor, actually from a Facebook post, I think it was. And, uh, I thought it was really, really cool and really interesting. Now they sell pretty much what the name suggests. Uh, natural decor, basically, um, suitable for vivariums and they even do products suitable for aquariums too. So if you're a fish keeper, this might be a video for you. Now I actually contacted them and said that I'd quite like to buy a box and would they be happy for me to review it on my YouTube channel? Um, they responded pretty sharpish and said they're absolutely happy for me to do that and in fact they'll chuck me in a few extra freebies just for doing this for them so a massive thanks to Forest Floor Decor. We then got in a little bit of a conversation of why it is I wanted one of these boxes and um, talked about future purchases and how they can source certain things for me from around the world if I'd like them to. So this company may well be highly beneficial to some future plans that we'll discuss later in the video. So last thing to mention before we look inside, this was a £25 mystery box that I bought from them because I'm looking for all sorts of decor, I'll explain why later, and I couldn't decide. So you get to see now the types of things that this company sells and get the gist of what you may get in a £25 mystery box. But remember, mystery boxes are pretty random. You could get anything and mine might be of a slightly higher value by them adding a few freebies in return for this review. But you'll get the kind of idea, right? So the next thing to talk about in the review is post and packing. You can see this is a nice sturdy box. It clearly says forest floor decor. I've ripped off where my address would be. It's, it's, it's nice. Um, I paid five pound for second class shipping and for a box of this sort of weight, that's not that bad. Now obviously there's nothing live in here, so we don't have to worry about anything jiggling around in the box. Now this is already looking pretty packed with stuff. Let me zoom the camera in and see what goodies we've got in here. So I flipped to freehand, the audio may well have changed because I don't have a separate microphone. So sorry if I've got a bit louder. So here is everything in this box. Now, I don't actually know the names for everything. So I'm not going to tell you what kind of perhaps seed pods or types of sticks they are or whatever I've got in here, I'm afraid, because I just don't have that know-how. Um, but wow, we've got some awesome stuff. So we'll have a brief look through and then we'll have a look into what exactly they are. So we've got this little bag here. This looks like a lichen moss, a natural lichen moss in here. Now this bag is packed with all sorts. We've got some moss and some other bits that we'll look at in a moment. Some really interesting pieces here. Okay. We've got another bag packed full of goodies here. Now I know you can't really make much of this out at all on this video, but I promise you if you stay tuned guys we'll have a closer look. But that is a huge bag of stuff there. We've got, uh, this looks like another kind of moss. Maybe another kind of natural lichen moss perhaps. Really, really cool. And then look, we've still got more package here as well. So these are like, almost like bulk bags. Oh, it's just like that. Uh, a mushroom? It is. 
these are like spongy mushroom type things really naturalistic really really cool so all this stuff is real guys this isn't fakery in a bag this is natural stuff for your environment look at the size of this it's almost like a heart I tell you what so we can have a better look at things we'll do some individually let's move this to the side let's have a look so here's what I pulled out earlier really really cool almost heart shaped could use that maybe as a start to a, a hide or we could just lay it on something really really cool in fact while I'm showing you the pieces I'll explain my story behind this box so the reason I wanted to get this random box is I do intend on doing uh, I could call it a series but it's not quite as such I'm gonna try and feature almost every single tarantula in my collection and the reason being is a lot has changed over time Oops, with my tarantulas and I don't always update you guys as much as I possibly should and some of them have been hidden for a long long time so I'm going to be upgrading a lot of their enclosures to be as naturalistic as possible unfortunately I don't have the lighting for live plants guys so it's not going to look as nice as I wanted but what's the next step if you can't get live plants oh something inside there is that a nut you hear that anyway as I was saying the next best thing if you can't get natural real plants is the decor right look at that is that a seed pod whoa how freaking awesome is that So yes, getting distracted by this box of awesomeness. So I, I want to uh, make them as, wow, naturalistic as possible, guys, by using random bits of decor. Um, I'm also going to look into sort of things that are in their habitat and do my best to mimic it. So there's going to be a lot of tarantula footage coming up once I've collected more decor, that is. Um, then there is going to be a lot of rehousings to be done and kind of species features. And we've got some sticks here as well. I'm not quite sure what these are as such, but they've got some nice patterning to them. They're really lightweight as well, which is kind of cool. Well, that's wicked. Now I'm going to pop this back into the box so you can view the stuff in all the bags. And boom, we've moved on to the mosses. So here is that natural lichen moss I told you about. Really, really cool stuff. You can see these growing on the trees and such. And here is a more raw kind of natural look. Is it a moss? I presume it's a moss. It's really kind of cool, right? Can you just imagine this in your vivariums? Pretty epic. Let's see what's in some of the other bags. Oh, these mushroom things. I like imagine these like an arboreal maybe set up. Look at that. So the lighting isn't as good down here, but you can kind of make it out, right? Look at all those beautiful little ridges. You can you can imagine sticking it to a bit of bark, right? Coming out of a bit of bark. Be no harm to the animal. They could sit on it. You know, look at look at how much I've got in this bag, guys. Like I know they were going to give me some extra stuff, but they've gone above and beyond with this box. The detailing. Like, can you imagine it? Like, I might even put some of these on Kamora Bee up on the big, big um, trunk. This is epic, absolutely epic. I'm going to be able to make such beautiful environments for the animals. And, I'm, you know, I'm not really about... Um, funky ornaments and stuff although now and again it's kind of fun and more about a naturalistic look and some of my enclosures are literally just cocoa fiber a water dish and a hide and now i can you know really change that look at look look we are still not finished we got this bag and this bag to go so before i move on guys comment comment me below what are your thoughts of my plans to change almost literally every tarantula and photo or everyone that needs it um, to have a more naturalistic look and it gives you that opportunity to see each species as well right wow okay so there's two bags 
Oh no, they're separate things. Oh my god, you know what? Let's lay all this out. Ba -ba 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 Jesus. This is incredible. This is actually incredible. I can't get the last one out of the bag. There we go. I'm going to take one of each of these items out on the table and we'll have a browse. One. Here we go. Okay. So we've got sort of like cone type things. These are a little bit sharper. I probably won't use these ones in tea enclosures, but maybe in um, other animals enclosures such as scorpions and so on. Ones that are a bit more plated. These don't have any form of sharp edging. They're very rounded. Really, really cool. So for these two, this one comes in a pack like this. These ones come in a pack like this. Look at it all. And then let's look at these two. These are cool. Now this looks like it might be sharp edge, but it's not. It's actually not at all. Really, really cool, right? Look at that. And then this one, I'm sorry, I don't, like I said, I don't know the names for all these things. They are on the site, I can go back and have a look. But uh, you'll be able to see them yourself if you go onto their website, which is going to be a link in the description below. So make sure to check them out, guys. So th this one came from this bag's worth. And this one came from this bag's worth here. Now moving on, we've got this and this. Now, not quite sure what these are, but they're still going to give that naturalistic look. It's not a sharp edge, again, so it'd be suitable in my tease homes. That's come from this bag's worth here. And then this stuff, again, a little bit of a sharp edge on that one, but you can kind of fold them in, crunch them a little bit, and you won't have that problem. Really cool, right? And that comes from this bag's worth. And we're not done yet. We are not done yet. We have this to go. This whole bag. So I'm going to be honest here. I think they've, you know, they've chucked me in a little bit more than a, a, a little amount of freebies here. So I'm not sure how much you would get in your £25 box. But I'm, I'm shocked by this. This is crazy. If Even if you don't want to do a mystery box, guys, check these guys out and see the stuff that they're doing. Because this is fantastic. Really good prices too. So I'm going to pop these back and we're going to look in this bag now. Whoosh. Okay, so I'm not going to take this out of the bag because you can see it crystal clear. Look at these beautiful natural mosses of all different colorations in that bag. Really, really cool. And then again, I'm not going to open these bags because there's even more to show you. But look at this stuff here. Nice, natural curls. What's, what's this? Oh, okay, I am going to open this because this looks really cool. Just get that piece alone. Look at it. You could maybe even make a shallow water dish if it will hold. Look at that. If I buried that in the substrate a bit, how wicked would that be? I mean, they're not all as curved as that, but they've, they're certainly... Well, that one's got a hole in the middle, so they can't all be water dishes as such, but they're still really freaking cool, right? Really, really cool. And then these, they're almost, they're almost like, uh, well, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. But the curvature, 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 is that a word? Curvature, curvature, whatever. Again, maybe we could have a shallow amount of water in these. Sort of like a boat, isn't it? Wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Right, last thing now, I'm going to pull all these items out and we're going to check out these and that will be it. Wah -bah -bah. Okay, so these you could even make as like mini natural hides. If I wanted to, I could even chop the end off and make it like almost like a tube to hide in. Or I could leave that in there, give the tarantula or other invert a choice. Maybe even put one of these with my vinegaroon. Really sweet. You've got all these kind of like cool shapes here make almost little bridges to things with these really really funky and you know what i think these guys have literally let me sample something of everything here so i'm going to be honest with you i don't think this is what you'd expect from that price box this seems like a lot lot more but don't let that put you off buying them just because the youtuber got some extras on top you know that's not what i asked for that was these guys choice and that just goes to show what nice people they are um but still like you can find all of these things on their site look at that 
It's almost like a ram's face with horns, isn't it? I can't remember what these were called. I did see them on there and have them named. Wicked, right? Like, this stuff is awesome. And the very last thing to show you is I talked about natural water dishes. And I think these would work. Check these out. They're really cool. Bury that in slightly. And you've got things for your slings here. All your juveniles. Now the thing is, this isn't just good for the teas, guys. It's good for a whole range of invertebrates. Plus, obviously they do aquarium safe stuff. So there's going to be loads suitable for aquarium needs as well. With that big one there. And also, uh, what, amphibians? Reptiles? Like, literally, look at, look at this. I'm mind blown by this. I am mind blown by, you know, the generosity of, of these people to, to, to allow me to sample all of this stuff. Like, I don't know what the total cost would be for all of this stuff. Like, wow. Yeah, just wow. I tell you what, I'm not going to sleep well tonight. I tell you why I'm not going to sleep well tonight. Because I am going to be thinking about all the cool stuff I can do with this all night long. So these guys, top marks on everything in my eyes, and that's not just because they chuck me in stuff for free. Top marks on everything. You already knew before I opened that box, I liked the customer service, the post and packing. And then obviously the items, there's nothing broken in there, there's nothing damaged in there. There's, there's so much to sample. And thanks to these guys, I can shorten the length of time I would have needed to collect this amount of stuff or order this amount of stuff individually to go into our future vivariums. I'm really, really excited to get this, these, this set of projects, this overall tarantula and invert revamp. There's still more I want to collect because obviously I've got a lot of animals to deal with, but this has certainly shortened the time needed to do so. So there we go, massive, massive thanks to Forest Floor Decor. And you guys, remember, link is in the description below. Check them out and, and just enjoy your browse, if nothing else. Tell your friends, because this could really change the look of your vivariums at home. So, what I would normally say is, if you want to see what else dwells within the realm, but we're not in the realm. But if you do want to see what else dwells within the realm, guys, within the realm, then uh, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. I'm going to be popping on the screen now the Disciples of the Realm. These guys are all my patrons and also my other versions of financial supporters. So it's not just Patreon we do here. There are other ways you can support the channel and still be able to join my private Patreon Facebook group and get some behind the scenes stuff about me. And also, sometimes you get to name the animals or even choose the animals I spend you guys' money on. So, massive thanks to Forest Floor Decor, massive thanks to my patrons, and a massive thanks to you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.